Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to change the columns of your blog post here. The default's three like this, but sometimes you might decide you want two or four. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. We're going to change this three into maybe a four and perhaps demonstrate how to change it into a two also. There's a little bit of coding involved in this today, but it's really easy. All you're going to do is have to copy and paste, and I'll show you how to do everything. Okay, well, I've got a regular blog post here, as you can see, and the default three columns. Let's just enable the visual builder. Don't need that page there. Great, and to make this happen today, I'm actually using a bit of code from the Elegant Themes blog. I'll put this link below the video and I'll also put this CSS below the video and we're going to go over we're going to give our blog a class name of CU blog right there just the CU blog not the dot in front of it let's go down to our blog here it is it's a re regular post I've chosen to show 12 and the various categories and what have you I'm going to go over to my advanced to CSS IDs and classes I'm going to paste the class name right there. So under classes, not ID, paste CU dash blog. That way we can target it with our CSS. Once you've done that, you can hit save. Now there's several ways of doing the CSS here. We can actually add a CSS block to the site or a code block to the site if you wanted to by simply adding a new block. And we've got a code block there. Or you can go down to your dashboard, down to Divi and theme options. Right at the bottom of the general tab, the first tab you're on, you've got a custom CSS box. You can write it there. I'm actually going to take the third method, which is writing it in the theme customizer, and they'll all work and they'll all end up in the same place. So you can use whatever works for you. I'm going to use the customize purely so you can see what's going on. Okay, and as you may have noticed, I've set my blog post temporarily as my homepage settings in homepage right here, just so you can see what's going on. You don't need to do that. But I'm going to write the additional CSS, or in this case, just copy it in my additional CSS panel. And if we go back to the Elegant Scenes blog post here, we've got the code down below. And they've actually set it up to be a four column blog right there. So I'm going to select all of that from the dot. Make sure you include the dot there down to the closing curly bracket at the bottom. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to my customizer and I'm simply going to paste it in there. Now there's no change because I haven't published this code. I need to publish it and refresh the page. When you put CSS code in, it's always a great idea to give it a title. Not only does it help you find it quicker if you write a lot of CSS like I do, but it's also a courtesy anybody edits the site behind you. So to make a title, it's forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So it's a great place for titles or notes and things like that. And we'll say blog columns. Great. Now we're happy, we'll publish this code. So we need to make sure that we've saved our changes on the page that we just gave it the class name with our blog page. I'm going to save the changes there. Now those changes are saved, we can go back and refresh this page and we should have four columns. There we go, we've now got four columns, simple as that. Now if we take a look at this code, you can make five columns, two columns, whatever amount you want. There's the class name that we gave our blog post module. Here's the actual class name of the columns and the content and stuff like that. Down below is content for the number of columns that we actually want. And here's a media query saying this is only going to work on anything with a minimum width of 980. So any smaller than 980, it's going to revert to the default blog, which will stack on top of each other. So it's going to work on mobile too. OK, well, let's say we want to change this to perhaps two. What we need to go down, go to content right here on line four, change the four to whatever column amount you want. Let's say two. 
I'm going to say size one of two. And we need to roll down a little bit. And we've got CU blog column size one of four. We're going to change that to a two as well. So it's one of two. And width wise, you want to make sure that this doesn't add up to more than 100%. For instance, we had four before. So four 24s is 96. Four ones are four. So that's the margin is 1% on the right hand side there. So that adds up to 100. So our two, we want to make sure that it doesn't add up more than 100. So you can't put 50 in. Let's try perhaps 48. And we still got one. So two 48s are 96. So that should fit. You can adjust it. Let's publish this and just refresh the page again. There we have it. We've actually got two columns there. That's worked out perfectly. And perhaps you want to have five columns, maybe. I'm not sure that will work out with the number of blog posts I've got, but we can do it. Let's go back to line four, content. We'll put five. One of five. Going to roll down a little bit. One of five. Okay, well, 100 divided by 20. Oh, 100 divided by five is 20, but we've got to factor in the one. Let's try perhaps 18 for this. We may have to adjust that. We'll publish and refresh. That's actually worked fine. We could actually probably take it up to 19 because five nines are 45. So that would be 95 plus five lots of 1%. We'll see. Let's try it. Yeah, that's still working and that's taking up our 100% there. So there you go, guys. There's several ways. Well, there's several variants on how to change the blog post columns. And obviously, if you've got, if you're displaying a certain amount, you want to make sure that whatever columns you decide to display, you want to show some amount that's divisible by that amount. If that makes sense. So there you go, guys. There's how to change the columns in your blog post. Let's make sure it's going to work on the front end. We'll go back to the page there. I know I'm all saved, so let's just exit the Visual Builder. That'll force a refresh. And there we are with our five columns. So there you go, guys. That's how to change the number of columns in your blog. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.